Hi everyone, it's Carly Reese and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm actually copying a video from my sister-in-law, if that's what you want to call her. If you guys are like longtime viewers or followers, you probably know who Asha is. Asha is my brother's girlfriend of like five years. So she did this video and she just posted it, I think, today and I need to film a video for today. <laughs> so I was like, actually, that's a really good idea. So I did copy her, but give credit to where credit's due, obviously. So go watch her video before you even watch this one. I'm just going to be answering questions that I typically avoid because I feel like I do question videos like a lot where it requires me like getting asked questions about like my personal life or like my relationship life and just like all kinds of that stuff and a lot of the time I skip over those types of questions because it's just strictly nobody's business but my own but some of the questions have been so repetitive for so long that I decided today maybe I'm going to answer a few of those. But the first question is, are you afraid of dating as an influencer? And the answer to that is absolutely. And not in the sense that like I think someone is going to like pursue a relationship with me because of my platform and stuff like that. That's not the reason that like I'm afraid of it. I'm more so afraid of it because being like an influencer and being out there like socially and all kinds of that stuff is like very stressful and sometimes very like detrimental to like your mental health so for me to like bring another person into that world and then like push all of what i'm going through onto them just like kind of seems unfair to me and if you don't get what i'm saying what i'm saying it's like I get like a lot of hate comments and stuff like that. So like if I were to have like a partner and then put them on social media and then they start getting hate comments like kind of similar to the ones that I get that like really suck to hear. Like that makes me feel like really bad for that person because like they shouldn't have to go through that. For me it's something I've been dealing with my entire life so like I'm more used to it but for someone who's never experienced it before and then just like thrown out there and like getting all this hate like it's gonna suck for them so that is why i really don't care to publicly date i also think a lot of my viewers are more on the young side so when it does come to me dating they want to know like everything so like if they were to find out like who i'm dating like they might dm them like this has happened in the past and stuff or like comment on all their posts and it just like got out of hand and i like to keep my relationship life very private because of things like that you know so this question i do get asked all the time and i'm just going to answer it because that's what this video is about the relationship between you and emma marie so simply the reason I avoid these questions is because it's really no one's business you know my relationship with another person Emma is my cousin I have like no issue with her obviously things have happened over the years but I don't think those things that happened are like directly between me and Emma so I have absolutely no hate to her at all but once again that is all I'm going to say about that situation because it is strictly our business and if we don't want to talk about it we don't have to and I know a lot of you guys are very curious about the situation but please just respect what we are willing to talk about and what we are not so thank you and next piercing this isn't really a question that i would avoid but i'm going to answer it because i want to i think i'm going to get my belly button pierced on my birthday but we'll see one friend you don't talk with anymore there's a lot of friends i don't talk to anymore that have like been within like the youtube world with me but i don't really think it's for like any major reason you know like friends just fall off and like that's the end of that but I guess like Carissa and I don't talk anymore like Krista and I don't talk anymore um there's just like quite a few friends that I literally had like years and years ago like Nyla like we don't really talk anymore and it's not because there was like a major falling out it's just simply because we grew up and went in different paths and like whatever but there's no bad blood between us obviously so back to the piercing talk someone asked if I would ever get nipple piercings and this sounds like so weird but totally <laughs> like I don't know I feel like it would be fun to have my nipples pierced I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like what the heck you are so weird I don't know it would be too painful for me though like to get that done it's like I don't even really know if I could even like get it done but 
I guess it's an option for the future. I don't know though. Would you ever start an OnlyFans? So recently, me and my dad talked about that in a video and there was some backlash on it. I'm not creating an OnlyFans account. I don't really think there is anything wrong with starting an OnlyFans account if that's what you wanna do. Like I hate when people like categorize you and say you're exploiting yourself, like literally do what you want. But me personally, I will not be doing that because that is just something I'm not interested in. And also just being on the media, if that was something I decided to do, it would be very dangerous if you know what I mean, just older presences out there who may know who I am and then get a hold of my OnlyFans. Like, that's just like, uh, yeah, it won't mix well. Okay, so this question I was literally going to avoid in my answering questions I avoid because the first question I'm pretty sure I answered was literally revolving around this. So, do you have a boyfriend? I do have a boyfriend. Um, obviously, you guys may have caught on or something like that. I don't know. It's not like I'm going to tell you. That's really all I have to say about that is that yes, I do. Because, like I said, I want to keep my relationship life private. So, like, by me answering more questions, that opens more doors for you guys to, like, find out who it is or ask more questions. And I hope that everyone in this video just respects my privacy and after answering that question we can move on to the next one do you ever struggle with any mental illnesses i would say more so in the past i did struggle with mental health issues like a lot when i was a little bit younger but like in my current being I would say not as severely and the only thing that I think I really deal with is like anxiety about like certain situations. I get like paranoia anxiety so like when I'm like really stressed out about a situation or like something going on like I literally get so anxious and like nauseous and all that. I would say currently that's what I deal with is just like a lot of anxiety about like situations. So Asha Zaff asked, do I like Asha? So I watched her video and she said in her video she didn't like me, so I don't like her. I do like Asha. I mean, I literally called her my sister-in-law and I gave her a shout out at the beginning of this video. But Chase did steal Asha from me like five years ago and I will never forget about that. A lot of questions are about weed and it's funny because everyone's like, I know you're a stoner, like I know you smoke, like I literally get those questions all the time. Um, and the only thing I'm going to say about that is I do not smoke weed. So yeah, I do get a lot of questions about weed and apparently I don't ever answer them. That's why people are asking in this one. The reason I don't is because I don't like smoke weed really. Okay, so this one's just gonna be a simple yes or no question because I do not want to go into details. I honestly don't even want to answer this question because I just don't. My parents like watch this and my grandma. So grandma, if you're watching, like please just ignore this have you ever done more than just kiss a guy yeah okay moving on sorry grandma god every question is about having a boyfriend or weed but someone said my favorite brother um so obviously it like switches periodically um sometimes it's chase because we're closest in age, you know, like if I'm hanging out with people, they're close in age to Chase, you know, so it just makes sense. But also sometimes because we are closer in age, he makes me so mad and he's not my favorite anymore. Blake, I feel like we relate in ways. I don't know. I could just be talking, um, but sometimes it's him and then sometimes it's Andrew. But I have my reasons for them being my favorite and my reasons for not. Blake. He can be really nice, but he can also be mean. <laughs> and Andrew, he's fun and he's funny, but then sometimes he tries to act like my dad. You know, he gets a little protective and stuff like that. So, you know, it's really hard to choose. Um, I've never just strictly had one favorite my entire life. It changes depending on how they're acting towards me. Favorite parent. So this one is actually a no-brainer. <laughs> my mom have always been each other's favorites. She won't admit it, but everyone knows I'm her favorite. <laughs> And I feel like the reasoning for that is because I'm the only girl out of three other dudes. So when my mom wanted to connect with like a girl, she only had me and obviously all the boys had my father. So it's kind of always just been that way. Why do you resort to online when college is so much more different than high school? So the reasoning for that is because one thing I have learned about myself more so recently 
I guess like within the past couple of years that I didn't really know about myself is that I work so well independently like I work so well by myself I don't know why but I guess I've just learned about myself that I work a lot better independently than I do with other people and not necessarily that if I did go to college that I would like have to be working in groups with other people it's just more so that I feel like sitting in my room like independently I could do better and working on my own schedule and stuff like that you know what I'm saying? I just keep refreshing the questions, like waiting for more, and it's like, you smoke weed, you smoke weed, you smoke weed. So, we're just gonna end the video right here. So, thank you guys for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. And I hope you enjoyed hearing some juicy questions. I mean, I feel like there's not very many questions I avoid. So, I hope you learned something about me today. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! But it's gonna be okay.